In this video, I'll show you how to find the points of inflection for a function. The points of inflection is a point on the curve at which the curvature changes its sign from positive to negative and vice versa. In other words, it is the point at which the curve of the function goes from being concave up to concave down or the opposite way around. You can find the points of inflection by doing the following. Step number one is to find the second derivative. So let's go ahead and do that. For question one, they ask us to find any points of inflection on the curve represented by this equation. So using step one, we need to first find the first derivative and then the second. The first derivative will be denoted by y prime, and that's 3x squared minus 6x minus 5. I use the power rule for all four terms. This 7 disappeared because taking the derivative of a constant is always 0. Next, I'll find the second derivative. This becomes 6x. This becomes negative 6. There it is. That's my second derivative. Step 2, they ask us to find its critical points. And to do that, we'll set y prime or y double prime is equal to 0. So setting this equal to 0 and then solving for x, we end up with bringing that 6 over. x is equal to 1. Dividing both sides by 6, of course, gives us that conclusion. In step number 3, they say, find what happens before, after, or in between these critical points using the second derivative. So what I'll do is create a chart, and I'll say x being less than 1 and x being greater than 1. Let's find out what happens. Let's choose a value that's less than 1, substitute it into the second derivative. The second derivative was this. If I substitute, let's say, 0 into here, I end up with a negative value. If I substitute 2 into here, I end up with a positive value. Now, how do we conclude from what we just found? If y double prime changes from negative to positive as it does, y has an inflection point at the changing point. What this means is that at x is equal to 1, the curve changes from being concave downwards to convex or concave upwards. Notice the negative and the positive. So before x is equal to negative 1, it was concave down. And after x is equal to 1, it is concave up. Now let me show you a visual of this. Take a look at this. This represents the original function. This represents the second derivative. Notice that before x is equal to 1, we had this concave down. And then after x is equal to 1, it's concave upwards from there. And this is the relationship between the second derivative, which is the x-intercept of the second derivative, and the original function's point of inflection. And so there you have it. That is how to find the points of inflection for a function.